Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I pray that you're having a fantastic God first day. I am. The Lord is good and he's worthy to be praised. And I'm so excited about what's going to take place tonight. Our in-house Vision Keepers Leadership Conference. Every year we have our own in-house leadership conference where we work to sharpen and strengthen and encourage the leaders of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And I want to invite everyone to come, uh, even though it is a, a leadership conference, it's also Bible study tonight, and we invite everyone. God has given me a word, and I'm excited about delivering it tonight. And I tell you, uh, it's going to bless you. It's going to bless you real good. I can't give it away uh, until tonight. So I want you to come and be a part of our conference. You know, uh, <clears throat> uh, Elder Anthony Wilson, he is the president of our uh, men's department and our leadership conference. And as you know, uh, and you may not know, he has just been appointed, uh, officially appointed to be one of the regional leaders, to assist one of the regional leaders in our national church men's department, and he's on the National Church Men's Department staff. He's doing a tremendous job here in uh, uh, leading in this particular ministry of our church. And I want to say that uh, at the upper room, and, and listen, I may be biased, but uh, uh, to my, in my never to be humble opinion, we have the greatest leadership team in the world, God has given me some of the finest people on earth to work with. You know, the, the upper room ministry, the vision is too large for any one person. And I am convinced that no leader is any better than his or her team. You, you have to have good people, trained people, people who, who have bought in, who gives excuse me, a hundred percent buy in uh, to what it is that you're trying to do so that we can accomplish the will of God. And tonight the, the conference begins, it actually starts at seven o'clock and there's a treat for you. At 7.50, 7.50 tonight, 7.50 p.m., my wife, Pamela, will be uh, uh Presenting, she will be teaching, she will be giving a presentation at the leadership conference, and you want to come out and hear her. She's been before the Lord. She, my, you know, she's my wife, and I love her. But she, I, I want to say, she's a, a sincere, uh, amazing woman of God who understands the times and understands the Word of God and knows how to deliver God's word. And we're going to be blessed tonight to hear from her. And then after she will have finished, yours truly will be delivering the word of God. I said to uh, Elder uh, Anthony Wilson that it wasn't fair that he would put my wife in ahead of me like that. I said to him, man, you've made my job that much harder because I know that she has something very, very important to say to help us and to strengthen us in this area. Now, our scripture uh, for the, the conference is the same scripture that God has given me for uh, our church this year, John's Gospel, chapter 17 and verse 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So come on out tonight. Come on out. Come one, come all. Praise the Lord. You don't have to be a member of the church to come out and participate in the leadership conference. We will be studying the Bible. You know, we don't have anything here uh, without Bible. This is a Bible church. I'm a Bible preacher. I rely heavily on the scriptures. In all sermons that I preach, I, I tend to give three or four sentences on any subject that I'm talking about without saying, and the Bible says, and the Bible says. Why the constant reference to the Bible, preacher? Oh, you know the answer. It's because the Bible is right. 
Hallelujah. So tonight we are going to be walking in the scriptures. God has given me a word. I can hardly wait to, to, to preach the word of the Lord tonight to inspire the leaders and the men, members of our church. These are people who have greatly down through the years inspired me and have encouraged me to stand and preach the word of God. Someone asked me one time in my closing, I got to go and you're busy. Say, well, Wooden, how do you preach what you preach? How is it? Where did you get your courage from? Uh, how is it that you make these bold stands and proclamations and all that other kind of stuff? I tell them among the reasons God has given me people who support me. God has given me people who pray for me. God has given me a board of directors who call my name out before the God of heaven. God has given me prayer warriors who gather on a weekly basis and gather every Sunday morning and they pray and they call my whole name. Patrick Lane wouldn't see you before the God of the Bible. God have given me leaders who say, man of God, as long as you're in the scripture and as long as you're preaching God's word, you can count on me. I thank God for the members of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. I thank God for our leaders. I thank God for the president of our uh, leadership, our coordinator, the coordinator, the chairman. Let me get the right, get it right here. The chairman of the leadership conference, Elder Anthony Wilson. He's doing a tremendous job, a tremendous job. And we have a tremendous conference schedule. Starts tonight. We're going through Friday night and two hours on Saturday and it's going to be a blast. Come on, come on, and be blessed of the Lord and highly favored uh, as we, in the leadership conference, study the Bible. Because, among other things, tonight is Bible study. Yeah. Bible study. I'll see you tonight for Bible study. God bless.